All right, hello and welcome everyone. This is Gump, and this is going to be a discussion about why I believe patch 1.2 is going to fail. And I'm going to approach this very analytically as I do the game itself, which is pretty much why many of you have subscribed to me. You love the way that I approach the game, the tactical sense that I use in the game, and strategy, and the analytical uh, side of that. And that's kind of how I approach all games, huh, to be honest. And I'm going to be doing more games on my channel. Somebody asked me that earlier today in my Discord. And yes, I am going to be doing more games. Homefronts definitely going to be something I'm going to start just in two weeks from now. When it comes out, it's a game similar to The Division. Go check it out. Uh, Escape from Tarkov. It's usually shooter games that I play. Arma, um, Escape from Tarkov something I'm looking for. No Man's Sky is something I'm looking forward to. So there are going to be a number of things that my channel is going to grow into. I've only been back on YouTube for a month now. And... I wanted to throw this out there that I haven't uploaded the video in the last day or two, and that's because financial stuff is just kind of kicking me in the face. I play poker for a living, so that allows me to actually take breaks from my actual job and do things like YouTube sometimes. And when I do do YouTube, I get really great feedback. And I would really love to continue to upload videos at the same rate that I have been, but honestly, it's just not financially viable for me. So... One of the wor workarounds for this is that I've started a Patreon campaign, and I'm not going to completely get into it right now, but there's a link in the description, and if you'd like to go over, I explain exactly why, why I am starting a Patreon campaign, some of the perks that you get for donating to the channel, and how that helps me continue to do videos on the channel at the same pace that I'm doing them at now, and potentially even doing more than I do now. So go check that link out, and then on Monday I'm going to be actually uploading a full launch video where I actually promote the campaign itself but for right now this is just kind of a soft launch to let people know about it uh, feel free to go over and check it out the links in the description so let's get into division and patch 1.2 and why i think that this patch is going to completely fail Oh yes, patch 1.2, the loot 2.0 patch that's going to drop you all of the gear that you've ever wanted. They're going to open the game up, they say. They're going to give you everything that you've always wanted in the game. And honestly, they just don't get it. It's not going to work. Take a look at my character here, and then I'm going to look at my inventory. This is the situation that everyone's going to be in soon, because I play way more than the average person. A thousand Phoenix credits, nothing to spend them on look how much gear i have 25 backpacks on one character i've got three characters full of gear inside my stash i've got gear set pieces for the rest of my life and nothing to do with them and why do i not have anything to do with them we all know the answer to that it's the recalibration station you go up to the recalibration station and what do you get you get to change one thing on one piece of gear for one build because you're trying to put together one single build in the game and and every single piece of gear that you have is just screwed because one thing on it is always off and so it takes hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pieces of gear to get one thing the way you want it and then after that you have to get your gun with the exact talent you wanted on it and if you've seen my division tech video you know that you need about 12,000 guns to get three talents that you specifically want so once again the bottleneck in this game is the way that they do the recalibration system and the art RNG that exists on the weapons and the gear itself. It is not in the amount of gear they could drop. They can't drop enough gear for us to get through this bottleneck. And that's exactly why is this game is failing. And I'm going to show you guys that now graphically and explain to you that what they're actually doing in this game is trying to fix it by jamming a square peg through a round hole. And then when they realize that the square peg doesn't fit through the round hole, you're going to realize that the only thing that they're doing is actually changing the color of the square peg instead of actually changing the square peg to a round peg and then shoving that through the round hole which is what they could do if they would just take out the bottleneck in this game all right, so I showed you guys a chart a minute ago, and that's the chart that I'm going to use to explain the issue with the division and why patch 1.2 is going to fail. I'm an economics major, and this is a great way to show it because it shows the stuff on a graph, and graphs are easy to understand when we see it this way. So what do we have here? We have a human population graph, and this graph includes a bottleneck event. So what this graph is intended to purpose is, is to show you how the human population is affected by a bottleneck event, and we're going to show that the division population is also affected by a bottleneck 
pandemic event. So the human population is moving along this line with its average ups and downs as it's growing and it's going down and it's growing and it's going down and then we hit the bottleneck event. Consider this bottleneck event to be maybe a virus that breaks out and so the human reproduction and its average growth rate can't keep up with the amount of people that are dying from the virus. So the human population starts drastically dropping in an extreme rate and we're going to keep going down this line if we don't remove the bottleneck which is what this point is showing here we don't remove the bottleneck we will continue along this line until the human population reaches zero which there is no recovery from that we know of so we go back to here and if we remove the if we remove the bottleneck event we'll actually see the human population start to recover and go back towards its original line that it was on so what does this have to do with the division? Well, let's go into this other little chart that I've got here on my desktop. And I've got this opened up in Pixlar, and we can see that I've added character progression to it. We left the population size on in time. So this represents the division now instead of the human population. We're talking about the population size of the division. So let's start talking about character progression. If we start off with the game and we are at level zero, we start moving along a line of character progression. So we move extremely fast at the beginning and then maybe we pick up some purple gear and we get a really big boost in our character progression. And then we move along the line for a while and we pretty much carry along the same line, but at a pretty good rate, the character progression and we get to a point to where we hit something like level 30 and then we have a huge increase in our character progression because now we have all the max level type gear in the game with level 30 and our character progression goes extremely fast upwards and then we end up in a situation where now we have to go get all the new gear sets and things that exist in the game and that levels off for a bit after that initial bump getting to 30 and that leads us to the bottleneck event once we get to the bottleneck event, and we all know this, and this is one of the things I love about graphs and economics, is that graphs really affect, show human feelings a lot of times when we're talking about people. And that's exactly what happens here. We get to this point, and we already have a gear set. We already have a four-piece sentry and a two-piece striker. And now we want to do a specific character build and do specific things with our character. But this requires enormous amounts of time because of the RNG in the game. So what we end up with is now if we want to improve our character, by half of percent we have to go grind in the dark zone for days at a time so we can get one mod to increase our gear by half a percent critical hit damage and now we want to get the specific piece of gear so we can get turret damage on our character so we have to grind more gear pieces and we have to get one piece of turret damage it increases our character by that much and the character progression line just flatlines in this game it literally just completely flatlines and what happens is, is the exact same thing that happens to the human population. The division's population moves along at this rate and up and down. Obviously, this is the exact population for the division. But the, the, the division population moves along just like the human population did. And then it hits the bottleneck. And you see the division population start to dwindle. And it just keeps going down, going down, going down. And if we don't remove this and we keep going this direction, the division population will become extinct. But they have actually been fixing this problem, and this is the reason that the game has not completely went dead yet. But it's going to if they don't take care of this problem. What they do is, is that they fixed this last time with patch 1.1 by putting in the new gear sets. And the only thing that they did, instead of removing the bottleneck, they just reset your character progression back to where it was. And then we were on a new grind to get gear sets. We had gold gear and now we had new gold gear we could pick up. They increased the amount of gold drops that we get. And so we got to this line once again. And now we're back at the bottleneck again. And that's where we're all at right now. And again, we are back on this line past the bottleneck and the division population is going down so now the developers want to try to change the color of this of the square peg to shove through the round hole by giving you more stuff again so what are they going to do they're going to they're going to put some new gear sets in they're going to increase the drop rates and they're going to bring us back to a line somewhere around here and we're going to all get all this new gear again and we're going to drive right back into this same bottleneck again and we're going to hit the flat line where we can can't improve our gear the RNG is too high in the game for them to open up this bottleneck by just giving us extra gear it takes 12,000 guns on average for a person to get all three of their 
of their talents they want on a gun, and that's just one gun. And then we're going to go through the same process over again until they remove the bottleneck, which is the RNG in the game, not giving us extra drops and changing the gear and resetting our progress back to this point. We're going to keep going back through the same cycle. And here is the other thing that you notice. If we go down to this point where they actually remove the bottleneck temporarily, you notice that the human population or the division population in this case is actually lower. So what's really going on is they're resetting us back to this point over here where this is where things are recovering from. We're recovering from here, not up here. This isn't where we go back to the bottleneck. We're back down to this point. By the time they get things fixed, our care, the population size is more in this area. And this is where we're hitting the bottleneck. And now the, the, the population line is actually here for the game. And now the curve is starting to here. And every time they do it, so this line moves the lower. And so every time they do this, we lose players in the game. And sooner or later, and I honestly believe that it's going to happen after this patch, looking at the numbers, because if we go over and look at the Steam charts, you can see this happen in real time. This is the division back in March. You see this enormous amount of people playing the game. And then we keep moving along, and then here it goes. The, the people level up their characters, they get to a point, and within 21 days, here it goes, the bottleneck kicks in, and look at the numbers dropping. We're at 100,000 people playing on March 18th, and we start seeing that number start dropping extremely fast. Look how fast it drops. By March 29th, eight days later, we're down to 38,000 people. We get all the way up into April, the number's all the way down to 29,000 people from 100,000. And then the patch comes out, which resets our character progression back and puts us back on the left side of that bottleneck. And then what happens? We're back up to 54,000. The, the, the number almost doubles in one day. It's exactly what I was saying, but it's lower than the original number of 90 some thousand and then what happens we play for a little while we get back we get our gear and then here it comes a couple days later the bottleneck hits its we hit the bottleneck again and it shows its face and then here we go down 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 all the way to 12,000 people and so what you're gonna see now is they're gonna put this new patch out and we're gonna jump back to somewhere in here in the 30 to 40,000 range and we're going to play for a little while and this number is going to keep going down and at some point this game is going to die and it's going to die because of the RNG. This is a mathematical fact. There is a bottleneck in this game. Everyone knows it. It's the RNG in the game and if they don't change the RNG, they are not going to save this game. So as you can see, if you don't remove the bottleneck from the game, these developers are going to destroy their own game because we're just going to be back in the same situation that we were in before 1.1 where all we do is delete our set gear all day long, which is exactly what we were doing at the beginning of the game, which is just deleting gear, deleting gear, deleting gear. You have to change this game through the recalibration system. You have to allow people to, one, get more drops, which is what you're doing, but you also have to allow them to recalibrate at least two or three things on their gear for you to remove your bottleneck. It's the only way to fix it without removing multiple stats on gear itself and you're going to have to let people upgrade their weapons because when someone does get the perfect weapon they want the chances that they get it again are almost zero so they need to make their weapons available to be upgraded from level 31s to 32s and gear score 184 guns to gear score 204 guns essentially that is the fix for your game you're welcome Thank you, everyone. Go check out my Patreon page. Donate if you wish. Talk to you in the next video.